mechanical shutter, electronic shutter, and electronic front curtain shutter. What's the difference? Which one should I use? Today, let's talk about shutter type. Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Welcome to another video. This is Fuji X-H1 and it has three types of shutter. Mechanical, electronic, and electronic front curtain. Before I show you some photos taken by each shutter, let's briefly take a look at how these shutters work. Mechanical shutter. Mechanical shutter engages two physical curtains, the front curtain and the rear curtain. When an exposure starts, the front curtain opens first, allowing the light to hit the sensor. When the exposure ends, the rear curtain closes the sensor and blocks the light. Electronic first curtain shutter. Before the exposure starts, the front curtain is already opened. When an exposure starts, the sensor is electronically activated to accept the light, followed by the rear curtain to finish the exposure. Electronic shutter. There are no physical curtains involved at all. The sensor is totally exposed. And when the exposure starts, the sensor scans line by line sequentially until it finishes reading the entire sensor. I hope you like all the graphics that I made. If you still don't understand how each shutter type works, that's all right, because I don't even understand every single detail. But what is more important is you understand the pros and the cons of each shutter type. And that is exactly what I'm going to talk about next. First off, mechanical shutter. Since it has two physical curtains moving in front of the sensor, under some certain circumstance, it might introduce some slight vibration, which is called shutter shock. And this slight vibration could blur your photos. Now, let's take a look at an example. Here are three photos that I took using the same tripod, the same camera, same lens, same camera setting, everything is the same except the shutter type. The first photo is mechanical shutter, the second photo is electronic shutter, and the third photo is electronic front curtain shutter. And you are looking at 200% crop. As you can see, the first photo taken by the mechanical shutter is a little bit blurry compared to the second photo and the third photo taken by electronic shutter and the electronic front curtain shutter. The first photo taken by the mechanical shutter is impacted by shutter shock. Although you are not going to see this every single time because it only happens when you shoot with a certain shutter speed. Usually that is from 1 5th of a second to 1 60th of a second. That is usually the range of shutter speed that is likely to produce shutter shock. And a shutter shock is more likely to appear if you shoot with a long focal length or a high megapixel camera. If your camera only has mechanical shutter, don't be too worried about it. I'm sure your camera can still take sharp photos. In my opinion, shutter shock is only noticeable when you do pixel peeping. All right, next up, let's talk about electronic shutter. Electronic shutter is free of shutter shock, but it is prone to something else. The first issue is rolling shutter. When you are shooting some fast moving objects with electronic shutter, it is likely to have some strong distortion in the photo. That is because the shutter scans the entire sensor line by line, and it is relatively slow to finish scanning the entire sensor, so it can't keep up to the fast moving object. Let me show you an example now. The first photo is taken by a mechanical shutter, and you can see the basketball looks normal. The second photo is taken by electronic front curtain shutter, and the basketball also looks normal. The third photo is taken by electronic shutter, and you can see the heavy distortion around the basketball. There's the new technology called global shutter, which is electronic shutter, but it can capture the entire sensor at once instead of scanning the sensor line by line. So that can resolve the rolling shutter issue. But today, most modern cameras don't have global shutter. So maybe in the future, we can remove rolling shutter from electronic shutter. The second issue that might appear with electronic shutter is the bending issue when you are shooting under flickering lighting source, such as fluorescent light. Light. Again, here are the example. The first photo is taken by mechanical shutter under LED light, and you can see there's no bending issue whatsoever. The second photo is electronic front curtain shutter, and it also doesn't have the bending issue. And then the third photo, 
With the electronic shutter, you can see heavy bending issue under the LED light. The other benefit of using electronic shutter is it is the only shutter that can be completely silent because it doesn't have any moving piece in front of the sensor. All right, does it mean that we should always use electronic front curtain shutter because it's sharper and because it doesn't have the bending issue? Now let's look at electronic front curtain shutter next. According to Fujifilm XH1's manual, when using electronic front curtain shutter, fast shutter speed is more likely to produce uneven exposure and a loss of resolution in autofocus areas. I did a couple tests that I shot at 1 8,000th of a second and I can't reproduce the uneven exposure. And also I did a couple shallow depth of field test shots and let's take a look at the results. All right, let's take a look at the first set of photos. They are all taken by Fuji X-H1 and a 35mm f2 lens. The top left corner is captured by mechanical shutter, the top right is electronic shutter, and the bottom left is electronic front curtain shutter. Everything else is the same. The camera settings are the same. I put the camera on a tripod and focused on the same subject and then manual focus. And we will look. We will take a look at the autofocus area. So right off the bat, I found the photo taken by electronic front curtain shutter is a little bit darker than the photo taken by mechanical shutter and electronic shutter. And now we are going to zoom into 100% scale, and we are going to look at the autofocus area, which is the bokeh. Now, if you compare the bokeh, I found the background the bokeh is a little bit smoother with the mechanical shutter and the electronic shutter because you can see a little bit more definition in this photo taken by uh, electronic front curtain shutter. You can see the lines in mechanical shutter and electronic shutter are a little bit more blurry compared to these lines in electronic front curtain shutter. So they are both, they are all taken at f2 aperture. I'm not sure why the photo taken by electronic front curtain shutter, the background seems, ha seems to have more definition and the mechanical shutter and the uh, electronic shutter, the background is smoother. This is the second set of photos that I taken with Fuji X-H1 and a 90mm f2 lens and I observed the same thing. If I zoom in to 100%, Again, top left is mechanical, top right is electronic, and the bottom left is electronic front curtain. And if you look at the bokeh, you can see the bokeh in mechanical and electronic are smoother, and the bokeh in electronic front curtain shutter has a little bit more definition. Still, I am using the same camera setting for everything I'm shooting at F2 for all those photos. But for some reason, the depth of field is shallower with electronic shutter and the mechanical shutter. Now, which shutter type should you use? If you don't know what shutter type you should use in a certain situation, then use the mechanical shutter because it's the best all-around shutter. If you are shooting landscape photography, especially you have your camera set up on a tripod, then I would recommend it to use electronic shutter or electronic front curtain shutter to maximize sharpness. If you are shooting with artificial light such as fluorescent light or LED light, then I would recommend not to use electronic shutter, but instead use Use a mechanical shutter or electronic front curtain shutter. If you need to shoot fast moving objects, then I would recommend to use mechanical shutter. And if you really care about the quality of bokeh, I would also recommend to use mechanical shutter or electronic shutter. If you want to be quiet or completely silent, then use the electronic shutter. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please click on the like button down below. And if you are the first time on the channel, please also consider subscribing. Also check out more information in the description below for a Capture One Luminar 3 Aurora HDR coupon and discounts. All right guys, enjoy photography. See you next time.